Columbus Day. Um, burning bridges here at Kumia Network. It's incredible. Uh, Rolling Stones, shout out to Rolling Stones. I think they're Italian. First of all, uh, Columbus, he was Italian or he was all Italian or he was, just, he was sponsored by the Spanish, right? By the, by the Spanish queen? Yeah, I think Italy hated him and kicked him out. And uh, and so the the queen from Spain, she gave, she propped him up. She gave him the money. I believe so. And he was banging her. Probably. You know the Italian guys get all the chicks. <laughs> Talk to strippers. They love Italian fucking guys. Those whores. Anyway, the Irish. They they know the Irish are either drunk or little dick. Probably both. Anyway, so we got a big show. I try to get a. Uh, um, Christy Stefano and uh, and Giannis Pop because they do a funny thing on. Um, uh, on whatever, I don't know, go to their Twitter and it's, uh, you can find it. it's called Bayridge Boys and they do like a, they did a funny thing. I saw it. So I tweeted them that they should come on the show. They both liked the tweet. <laughs> they liked the tweet and then they don't even fucking. So I retweeted today cause I don't, I'm not going to beg. Like they know I want them to come on. They saw the tweet. They both liked it. And then they're like, so. But, you know, everyone's like, it's Monday. I can't, you know, I got shit to do. I got, I mean, Chris, he's got a baby mom and he's got kids. So he's got some kids. So, I mean, Giannis, I think he's got uh, nothing going on. So, anyway, I had a big weekend um, at the comedy cellar. I had a, I got, I had a problem the other night. What night? Saturday. Some woman was, uh, like, let's bring our guests in. Tom. Tom. Yeah, because I, I probably should just get a little feedback on this story. It wasn't a big story, but then we got a bunch of emails. Liz got a bunch of emails the next day. Anyway, uh, some woman, I was doing a spot at the cellar, and, uh, and uh, you know, I was in a bad mood because, you know, me and my wife were fighting this weekend. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I don't always get along with somebody. I mean, I'm hard, I'm, I'm easy on the eyes, but I'm hard to handle. You know, I'm not going to lie, but... Uh, so I was having a bad night, and then I this woman, you know, and it was like the fucking Village Underground. You know this Nathan McIntosh? I do know Nathan McIntosh. Oh, my God. Whoa, he's hilarious. Fucking Nathan McIntosh and then uh, and then Ryan Hamilton. I had to follow these two guys. They should be mm -hmm. selling apples out of a truck. I mean, these they have guys that are the face, most... I guess, yeah. Huh? They have that face. Yeah, they both have that face, and they're both super clean cut, and they're both like, rah, let's kill! <laughs> they want to do well on yeah, They want to do well, yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, and they're both, you know, like, you know, people like them. They're non threatening. So I go up there. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to feed my family. Yeah. Who brought this dad to the show? But then, uh, you know, yeah, he's, and he, you know, he's, he's killing. He's new at the cellar. So he's killing every show, you know, he's working it. But then it was, that, those were the two guys that had me, Ryan Hamilton, the cleanest cut guy, and then this guy's clean cut too. He curses, but as character, like as a, whatever. Anyway, then I go up, there's a woman, and these two women right up front, they're yapping, and they're, I could tell they're drunk by the way they're communicating. Look at these fucking faces, seriously. Like, they're good and everything, but come on, man. You better be. Am I right? Yeah, with that face. No, they're right. Anyway, they both, like, you know, gingers and fucking, you know, happy and smiling. People love them. Mm hmm so then these two women up front, so there's one, you know, they're drunk, and they, you know, I hate when you go right up there, and they're right at the, right, at the, it's always women, too. Women think they got to fucking chat about what you're, what, who you are, right, if you're, if they're sitting up front. So anyway, they're chatting, it's really annoying. So then one of them, I could tell one of them is like, going to get up. So I go, yeah, get up, go to the, but you got to go to the bathroom? She goes, yeah. So she stands up, she, so she's tall, you know, I go, wow, you're a big gal. And uh, she goes, yeah, I'm six too. Like she's right in front of the stage. She she goes, uh, she go, she goes, I, I'm six too. I go, you're transitioning. <laughs> so then uh, she goes to the bathroom, and uh, you know, I, I I think it got it got a laugh when I said she's transitioning. It didn't get like a big laugh. So they weren't on my side. They still wanted the fucking Apple Boys back. And uh, so then uh, when she comes back from the bathroom, I go, you, you I go, you adjust everything. And then that that turned the crowd against me. Then the rest of the <laughs> you're just tagging the original. Yeah, no, joke. I'm tagging her. What am I just gonna ignore when she comes back? Did she say anything? Did she? So I go. Upset? So I think at that point I go. I go. Are you people? I go. You know, it's not a fucking TED talk. You know, I'm fucking making jokes. You know, yeah. that's like the hack joke anyway. But but I'm like seriously. I'm not. I'm not a fucking. So anyway. So then uh, Liz, I'll call her Liz. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she got a bunch of emails the next day, not from the people. And, oh, and then the, I made the lady cry. 
I made the lady cry because I said, Liz said she was, and I, when she came back, I could see she was talking to her friend and it, like, I almost said, shut the fuck up, you know? Yeah. But then, but then I would just want to get it over with. And then, so Liz said, no, she was crying. She goes, I could tell. And then she was like dabbing her eye. Then Artie gives her two free glasses of champagne. I'm like, they're already drunk. Sounds about right. So, uh, so wait the, a minute. Did, was but she then the next and- day, the next day they got a bunch of emails, f- not from them, from other customers complaining. About the woman Liz, crying? Yeah, no, about how, no, about, yeah, about how. What about made her cry? You, you I fucking. I was insensitive to her transitioning. Shit. First yeah. of all, why do we got to be sensitive to their transitioning? Oh, so she was no. transitioning. Uh, no, but people. Just a but, tall woman. No, but people are saying, like, you got to be more sensitive. But why do we have to be sensitive? I, I could see if I, if I could say, like, if I don't serve them, if I don't make them a fucking wedding cake. But I'm just not, I have to be sensitive to them. I'm transitioning to older age. Like, no one's fucking sensitive to that. It's a goddamn I'm transitioning into being a feature as opposed to a headliner. Is anyone fucking, is anyone <laughs> uh, sensitive to that? I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. So, like, because they're freaks. They're freaks. They're freaks. Who's freaks? These 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 transgender people. Like, they're not, like, what percentage of the population are they? Do you guys know what percentage of the population they are? I think it's 0.03 or something. Point. Or 0.3, one of those. 0.03. It's if it's, it's 0.03, 0.3, that's like fucking laughable. I think so it's 0.3. Like, it's that's like three out of every thousand people is transitioning. And we got to be, and we got to be, oh, is that last way? 0.03. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. I mean, listen, man. Fucking, you're allowed to make a joke at a comedy club when a tall broad gets up. But, I mean, and by definition... These people are freaks. I have to make a joke. If a tall lady gets up, I have to make a joke. I if if she's sure. like, and she's if she's in my craw because she's been annoying me, mm-hmm. I absolutely have to make a joke. There's no there's no ifs ands or buts. I have to make a joke. And are you the, sure it was just that though. Or the problem are you, is, are you, are you leaving something out? No, I, I wasn't leaving anything out. But the problem is that room is a fucking that room's like a that room's a fucking holocaust. For for like real comedy, it's all like it's all it's all packaged, it's all presentational, it's all like you gotta be like it's literally like you're doing a show on Broadway. You gotta be like you gotta pizzazz them. You gotta have like a fucking the band's there, so you, a lot of comics room, interact yeah. with the band, mm-hmm. you know. And it's just it's just Eric like, does like on, a man. song and dance with them. He and does? stuff. yeah. He does. Pretty impressive. It's good though. He incorporates one of his jokes. Yeah, everybody does. It's hack. It's hack is what it is. If you're black. Let's try. Yeah. Let's call. Let's call the number. I'm trying to get Liz. I asked Liz to. Uh, this is gonna call in. No, she said she's gonna <laughs> fuck now. <laughs> I didn't hey, Liz, think so. can you call in? Because I she read me the email last night. It was pretty funny. I mean, it's not funny, but I I asked her. I go, will you? Will you uh, call in? She said, fuck no. I said, how about? I said, I'll call you then. She goes, fuck that. So she's she's not probably not going to take the call, but you're going to give it a try. It's worth it because she she won't recognize the number we're calling from. You think the woman cr- did the woman cry after the show or when she went to the bathroom? And then they said she was asking for the check. There was like three people on after me, but then she was disruptive the rest of the show. Mm. It's always like anything. It's always like the the audience sees what they see, but I what they don't see what we see. Yeah, they don't see. They don't see that she's distracting, that she's basically talking the whole time. So when she stands up, of course I'm going to fucking take a shot at her. I agree. I know she's coming back. If she's not coming back, that's one thing. You know, if she's not coming back, I'm going to take a shot at her. But, but if she, plus if she's tall, I can't say she's ugly. I can't say she's fat because women will have a fucking, women will like boo you. Was she by definition those two things? No. Okay. So then She wasn't attractive. Her friend was attractive. That's why everybody thought they were, were. You know, so mm-hmm. the fact that we have to be sensitive to people transitioning is ridiculous. Did she pick up? Garrett, she picked no. up? Are you talking about at a comedy club or in society? What do you mean? Like, I don't think we should be sensitive to people in a comedy club, but in society, I mean, we can uh, be. Oh, well, the thing, the reason people. is people say, like, you know, you, you know, uh, people are beating them up or it's a, like a hate crime. It's a tough it's road. Not, no, it's not a fucking hate crime. If I make a joke, if I make a, a transitioning joke at a comedy club, yeah, it's I not agree. a fucking hate crime. So that's why. So if you're in society and you're making a hate crime or you're not hiring people because they're transition that's one thing but like i'm making fucking jokes but you can't make jokes anymore that's why that's what i'm saying it's so frustrating we're not that we're not to uh follow these apple pickers you know like they're they're you know they're not you know even if they think like oh, i'm it's still st- to- it's totally safe comedy that's what that's what people want now they want totally safe comedy all character driven all you know like everything's got to be character driven 
So that's what, and that's what all the white guys are doing. Every white guy now is like, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that, you know, or I'm sick. I tweeted the other day about like all these comics that are like sick. It's like cancer. No, just like that guy, that Chris Gethard, right? The guy who has, who's, who's uh, depressed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Yeah, Chris Gethard. Yeah, he's depressed, and then my my brother Neil, like he was using like his, like he was sad. The middle mic, right? Uh, he was sad on. Yeah, the, the middle, middle mic, mic when he was yeah. telling a sad story. So it's like, but everyone's doing it now. Everyone like uses their thing about like how you know they were abused. Like I was abused. Mm hmm. Well, clearly. Yeah, I got a couple of wedgies in high school. I mean, come on now. Like, we like, all have what? Been. No, it's like, at what point are you abused, and what point are you an alcoholic? So it's like people, de people define their own abuse, and people define their own like, um, I'm depressed. Who gives a fuck? A lot of people are depressed. Yeah, I agree. Oh, so, so now you use, but they're they're using that now to sell the show. You know, you should be able to call a six two woman transitioning. I agree with you for once in my life. Why the fuck not? Especially in New York, because all, all the trannies she had a comedy are club. Monsters. Why are people monsters. sensitive at comedy I've been, shows? I've been dealing with trannies in the West Village. I bet you have. No, f since I moved here, like walk down like, to Christopher Street around no, 1:30 I mean, a.m. Get off the train if you're on the if you're any if you're at at night either in Times Square or in the Village. You're gonna run into trannies, and they're all six foot two black dudes. I was saying the other day about right. like you know they're worried about where they're gonna go to the bathroom. These these you, you can't stop a six foot two black dude he's I gonna go to he's gonna go to the bathroom wherever he wants it's like it's like telling a horse where to take a shit i agree i mean these people are in, they're big people so when she's like she's being a cunt and then i say she are you transitioning i mean i guess i shouldn't have said you know did you repackage everything or is everything did you arrange everything i don't know what the fuck i said but it, but it's still a joke but you can't do jokes anymore they don't want jokes they want bits they want, they want fucking, they want bits that no, that don't offend everybody. I mean, I was, I was watching some comic. I'm not gonna name his name. He's doing these bits. I that, stop now. I don't understand no, that, why that you pick and choose. No, that aren't names. funny. That he's doing because I, because it's kind of personal. He's doing bits that aren't really funny. Because he was, he was at one room at the comedy cellar, and you can tell they're not really funny because the crowd really, it's like this. Like, listen, when there's 20 people there and they're not, they're not, you know, it's you don't. You, a lot of times you can get a big crowd, you get the momentum on your side, and they're going to laugh at, like, the rhythm of the joke. And people start laughing at the rhythm, and they go, oh, that he looks like he's being funny now, mm -hmm. or he's acting funny. But, like, if you really break the joke down, do, no, if do. you really break the joke down, it's not funny. So then so then I'm watching this. I'm like, the joke's not funny, but they just, they like the guy, and then, he, you know, he's it's presentational, and he's, like, acting stuff out. It's just funny. You just get to the point where you're like, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's just, it's just it is what it is. It's safe. So if I go up there, I'm just done. I'm done. It's, I did my last show last night. Over it. What are you going to do now? I'm probably working at Lowe's. That's a good idea. I think you'd be a good guy. Just get the lumber for everybody. No, I'm gonna, I already got my aisle plan. I'm going to work the nails. <laughs> hey, let's bring Mike Boschetti in here because it's, uh, it's uh, Columbus Day. My friend Ian Banks trannies. He might be in a, around. Do you want me to tell him to come in and Ian talk bag? about it? My friend Ian Bangs trannies. Well, a lot of people bang uh trannies all right uh we got the stars we got the uh you guys are all you have a show you guys should do a show off broadway what are you gonna call it the dough is right we'll do it the dough is right we got bobo right, we'll <laughs> oh i try I, mike's mike's got some the mike's got some the plug mike were you on my show last week yeah it was the so week much before fun. oh no last week the blind guy what was his name he was awesome oh yeah brian brian was Go really blind. funny man <laughs> after all these years but he's, he, are you okay? I'm okay. No, he's newly blind. All right. This is like. How, how freshly blind? Huh? Freshly blind to me. Okay, a couple years. Uh, anyway, so Mike was on last week. He, he wanted to come on again in this week because he's plugging. He would, did the thing with the, at Sirius, right? Yeah, called Comedy to Take Over. And you took it over for how long? An hour, but I, it was weird how they taped it because I picked out my eight favorite comics, how to write some stuff about them if I knew them. I didn't even hear the bits they picked from them. Oh, they picked their own bits? Yeah. Oh, they do? And, and then, you're on like probably number four or five. Yeah, well, you could have done better. I put dice first. He's still yeah, so the dice, he's the king. And then Bobo here, Bobo's your sidekick, right? Yep, that's right. No, you guys did a you guys did a show on uh, uh, at Kumi a couple of weeks yeah, ago, well, right? Yeah, well, there's no sidekick. We're both two together. Yep, the two Stooges. We're, we're both <laughs> yeah, we're both co-hosts. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're you're equal parts. Yes, we're equal parts. Like Captain and Tennille. Yep. I'm I'm Tennille. Wait, what are you, Bobo? Captain, I was trying to set him up. <laughs> Sorry. Bubble, where do you live? Queens? 
I live in Maspeth, Queens. And and uh, where is that? What train goes there? The no, let me guess. I know what train goes there. <laughs> what is this right now? What are you there doing? There isn't any train that Local. goes there. No I, subway goes there. No, I got to take the L I double R. I yeah, there, there's two options. I could take the L I double R to Woodside, or I could take the one and the seven to to, to Woodside. Well, the seven's a hike though. That's oh, it's, you got to go. You got to walk from Woodside to Maspeth. That now I take the Q A. I take a bus to Woodside. What? I take a bus to Woodside from Maspeth. Where's Maspeth? Near near uh, Flush? Uh, near uh, near Flushing? And... Somewhere near Woodside. It kind of borders Brooklyn a little. There's bit. There's a lot of Italians in Maspeth. Oh, so why don't you just take the train there? Done the G. Done the. Uh... No, I'm not near the train. That that that's actually a longer route. I think you're. I think you're missing something here. No, he knows what he's doing. The train and what train goes there? Fuck. Anyway. What is this train talk? <laughs> what is going on here? How are you going to talk about trains for it? Anyway, Bubba's wearing his Met hat. Bubba, you're a Met fan? Yep, I'm a Mets fan. The Mets stink, right? The Yankees won last well, night. Did you guys see uh No, the Yankees Odell, suck. Did you guys see Odell them. Beckham? I saw her. the fucking Philadelphia Eagles go 4-1. Well, huh? Odell Beckham, you see, you know why Odell Beckham got hurt? No. Because Jesus doesn't like showboats. <laughs> Why not? It's true. He don't like showboats. First of all, if you're if you're a showboat, the other guys, they want to hurt you. Do you not know that? Like, every yeah. time you score a touchdown, you show up the other guy. You think they don't want to get to you? You think they don't fucking lick their chops at the chance, like, you go up in the air as you're crossing over the middle of the field? They go, they love it. It's like, fuck, that's like a steak sandwich to these fucking animals. We'll put a fork in the Giants because they're done, baby. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> you know why? And, and, you know, people say I'm petty and everything. Shout out to Tom Petty. Anyway, he was You're a not great. Petty, you just he was a great, huh? You're not petty. You just, you know, select. Tom Petty was a, he was a, I saw him twice. And uh, he both times he opened with American Girl. Remember that song? Uh, I forget Mike's name. <laughs> oh. oh, you. No, oh, he was good. He was good, and uh, so that's too bad. Shout out to Ralphie May too. Yeah, that's no. a shame, man. Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, Who saw that piece, coming? Ralphie. Anyway, no. Still. That's what Atel said. To me. Atel said to me, "What do you?" Atel was, you know, he's friends with this guy, but he's on the phone. I think with somebody he goes, he goes, "What do you, he?" I'm walking in the club. He goes, "What do you got on Ralphie May?" I go, "Well, that's why." He said. <laughs> Atel goes, "Of course," but it's like. You know, I mean, it's sad, but he was sick and whatever. Yeah. So you got to take care of yourself, you know. Have to. The problem is working the road. It's hard to fucking take care of yourself, and especially when is you. That what you hear? Huh? Is that what you hear? That's what I've heard from the road. <laughs> Some of you. For real, like if you, Mike, if you if you headline on the road, you, you know, after the show, there's nowhere to eat except shit. Like if you're on the road, if you're in the New York, you can get maybe a salad, but all you can eat on the road is pizza. After hours, it's pizza. That's the only thing they're going to deliver. And the, sh the food they serve at the comedy clubs is shit. So even if you're the headliner, like let's say you, you go on and uh, the kitchen closed. The kitchen closed. When you're done, the kitchen's closed if you headline. If you feature, you, f you go on, and then, then you get to eat while the headliner's still up there. It, they treat the feature like he's the fucking king. No, I know. So if you're the headliner... You got to eat. You got to be like, can you can you maybe make me something? And then they'll keep try to keep it warm. But they don't give a fuck. And then where do you go after the show? You you eat like shit. So so these guys that 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 gain weight. I what do you what can you do? Yeah, but can you put it in your rider? Huh? In your in your rider. Yeah, but it's like the point is it's not a good lifestyle. Like you you don't eat right. You wake. What do you? So you wake up in a hotel. What do you eat? Room service, probably. Yeah, and what what do you get at room service? You get you get a bowl of cereal for fucking for fourteen dollars. Wait, fourteen. So my point right. is, you can't eat right on the road. Like you, like I used to when I used to work on the road. I did a bunch of colleges. I would bring my own cereal. I would put I would put cereal. I would put milk in the trunk of the of the car, the rental car, so the milk stayed cold. I was working a lot of gigs in like the Upper Midwest, so the, I would I would have cereal because I was eating like shit. And one one time I woke up, I ate like the you know the breakfast fucking that they have at the hotel, some some donuts and oh, no. apple juice, and I I threw up because I was traveling. I was like I ate like shit the night before, and I threw up. I go, this is fucking crazy. No, I'm sick all day. So then I just started getting bring my own cereal. And I would have milk in, in the trunk. I would go get the milk. I, I felt like an idiot, but at least I was eating right, you no, know? Plus you buffet, can't eat right on the road. That you buffet's can't. laying out there all day probably, too. Like huh? that, the buffet they have for breakfast is probably there fucking for four yeah, and if, days. And, if you, don't, and you, you don't wake up in time to get the buffet. So on the weekends, the buffet's like till 10 o'clock. So then you wake up where well, you got you to gotta eat at McDonald's. You can't eat right. I know. That's what they say. You know, they say, 
you know, you got to give your kids fruit and vegetables. You know, fruit and vegetables are expensive. I go to the fucking supermarket. I buy fruit and vegetables, $15. I can buy a bag of candy for a dollar fifty. <laughs> Bobo, you still here? Yeah, I'm anyway, still the here. point is the waiting point, for the point. The point is eating right is hard. Eating like shit is easy. So guys like Ralphie May, like I, who are predisposed for to weight issues, you know what I mean? They, they're it's an uphill battle. So God bless. I feel I bad. R.I.P. He's a great comic, great guy. I didn't really know him, but everybody loved him, and, and he was just one of those road guys that everybody loved, and he he was he was helpful. He he's like a, you know, Mike, you have health issues, right? Yeah. I just saw you put on Facebook that you didn't you just die last year? I died four day. I died five days ago. I just got revived. No, but weren't you Wait, like five dead? Five days ago from now? No, weren't you dead? Didn't you have a heart attack or something? Yes, eight months ago. Huh? Eight months ago. Did the doctor tell you to lose weight? Yeah, I did. I had to lose weight. I got a stent. I got all kinds of shit. When are you going to start? Oh, you fucking idiot. You always love to go for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen people who have gone on the road and they'll work out in the hot the gym in the hotel room. You've, you've, heard, the the, hotel. you've heard the legend? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that they'll work out at the gym in the hotel. No, you. What do you mean that they do work out? They work yeah. out at the gym. Yeah, but you know the thing is, some people don't like to work out. I like to work out. I, but I, I'm naturally thin. But Take if I your was, shirt off, let's see. If I was a big, no, I don't like do fucking. I don't do bench presses. I'm not. I'm not a fag. I'm not trying to attract other guys. Okay. No, I just. I do. I run on a on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. But a lot of guys don't want to do it. First of all, Ralphie May, if you're that big, it's hard to fucking get going because even if even if you're walking, it's hard on your joints. You know. Oh, yeah. So, so you got to lose the weight first, but it's hard to lose weight on the road because unless you have a fucking someone's feeding you, you're going to resort to like, you're going to eat what's available and nothing good is available. No, they, don't, they make sure there's nothing good available. They what? They make sure there's nothing good available. Yeah, they want to like kill you. Anyway, so you had a heart attack, right? Yeah. No, because I just found my cholesterol level is, is high. You got to fucking fix it right away. What do I got to do, Mike? Just eat the right foods and eat. Stop eating bullshit and cook for yourself. Yeah, that's what I do. I already eat right. I don't. I I don't eat. I don't. What about really eat, What huh? about your cardio? That takes the cholesterol down. He runs right, all the Mike, time. I run. I ran five miles yesterday. Is it in your family though? I mean, is it? it mine is. Genetic. Yeah, my brother had two heart attacks and he he runs marathons. Whoa. Yeah, and my I have a, another brother who's fat. Peter, I'm gonna fucking burn that bridge. Oh my god. Peter. He's a fat, <laughs> he's a fat fuck and nothing happens to him. So when my brother Joe got a heart attack, Peter goes, "See, I hope he learned his lesson by running." Because what Peter did was Peter wanted to become a bodybuilder, so he gained like three hundred pounds, and then uh, but he forgot to bodybuild. Then he just kept on the weight. <laughs> now, now he's just a fat fuck, but he's not having a heart attack. So a lot of times it's just bad luck. Yeah. So my brother has like a thing, so I got so I after a second heart attack, I went to get my cholesterol checked. Turn out I have the same problem that that he has, not as bad, but I could die, you know. And I, I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping for it. Actually, oh, don't Saturday, say that. On Saturday I had bacon twice in two different meals. I had bacon. My mother-in-law made bacon and eggs that was left over. I ate that. Again, like Ralphie May, you eat what's. So I came out to the kitchen after I woke up. I I woke up late because I worked. I, it's the food sitting there. I eat it because it's like, why not? You know, better than throwing it away. Mm -hmm. Then I took the kids to the diner, and I didn't want to, they, this diner we go to has big portions. So I just got potato skins, and they had a bunch of bacon on it. It was fucking delicious. I know. But and then I think from eating so much bacon, I got like, I had got the shits. But then I'm like, isn't that good to get rid of the. No, but your main, your main thing should be your children. You got to work for staying healthy for them. No, I'm trying to die for my children because I have a $500,000 insurance policy. Oh, that's pretty good. So that'll get him into some good colleges. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I die? Somebody's going to really start appreciating you, I think, too. No, I think, think of my, my fucking numbers on my podcast will oh go God. through the roof. Oh, like, it'll probably help my career a little bit, too, <laughs> the backlog. The old ones? Yeah, oh, my I God. I actually know a good diner that might be able to help you that you might be impressed by. Where? Diner not far from me is a very diner where the very scene in Goodfellas that was filmed where a word. Oh, I love that where, diner. That, that very diner where that scene where word was given where Tommy got whacked. Yeah, and it faces out onto the highway right there. That's a cool diner. Where he, where he, where he smashes the payphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That diner is a short walk from me. Bob Golub. Remember Bob Golub? He oh, yeah. Well, he's two two, two you know, non-white people. He was people on the phone, much. right? Is that where he made the phone call? Or was no, that yeah, a that's different? a diner. Yeah, Goodfellas, right? It's a short walk from me. Let's take the bus and the train over to the diner. <laughs> no, actually, actually, that diner, you can just walk it from there. Just, it's just like two, two blocks. Why is that good for him, though? Is it healthy food or something? No, but if you're trying to no, get... If I'm if, trying to die. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. My wife hates the diner that I took my kids to because she says the Porsches are too big, and they are too big. But it, you know, whatever. So I'm 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 on a fence now because you know they said my doctor said you I could eat right. My brother became a vegan. He still had a second heart attack after being a Whoa. vegan. You take Lipitor? I take it. Yeah. I'm on it right now. How's your you anger? How's How your long anger has you been taken? Lately? But you know, people think the anger thing is a problem. Here's here's the problem with anger. What 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 kills you is anger you keep in. Oh yeah. If you if you let it out, it don't do nothing. I think it depends probably. It does it, Doctor uh, Tom? I would think so. Yeah, um, you could have a heart attack being angry. I'm saying if you don't let it out, Mike. If you keep it in bottled in, that's oh, what God, kills yeah. you. That's what fucking hardens the arteries. What about like road rage and shit like that when people go like real crazy all the time and shit like that? Yeah, well, that's they should sell their car, yo. <laughs> no, but that'll that cause heart disease. a heart attack too, you know. Yeah, well, that can cause you to be shot in the face by by a drive buyer. No doubt. I knew, I knew a friend of mine that was on a wheelchair and he and he was still in great shape, and he had to take the last few years of his life he was taking heart medicine. He, well, he gained weight being in a wheelchair? No, no, but he, for whatever weird reason, he had to take private Prilosec sect or whatever it he is. He couldn't walk and he was in good shape? Yeah, the guy worked out. Upper body strength. He, yeah. He, he worked out. He was in good shape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, my goodness. A long sip of coffee. This is like coffee talk. <laughs> it is. It's pretty this good. I need another talk. fucking coffee. I'm tired. Oh, here's the thing. Okay, so what I was talking about, the Tom Petty thing, you know, um, when uh, when the Giants lost yesterday, I it makes me happy. You know, I'm from Philadelphia. So, you know, and, and I, like, I'm not a big Eagles fan because I'm a grown man. I don't really don't give a fuck what black team, what black guy beats the other black guy. <laughs> I care. And our you know quarterback I mean? it's is like, great. Huh? Our quarterback isn't black. Not that that matters. No, he's to not me. great. Yes, he is. He's not. Carson Wentz is amazing. <laughs> I thought you came from Chicago. I didn't think you were from uh, Philly. I thought no, from I'm. I'm. I. I grew up mostly in Philadelphia. I was born in Chicago, but I grew up mostly in Philadelphia. So when it was when the Giants. Here's the thing. When the Giants were beating New England, I root for the Giants. So it been from living here so long, I became kind of a Giants fan. When they played the Eagles, I was like, well, you know. Whatever. If the Eagles are good, I want them to win. But otherwise, I don't give a fuck, you know. But but when you live here so much, you you become like the Giants or the Jets. And so when they were in the Super Bowl, I would root for them. Things changed when I became partners with this Lenny Marcus. Oh, no. And then so now I want them because he works for them. He works for the Giants. Really? What did he do? He just does like their fucking, he, he keeps their stats. He's a stats guy. He's not a comic. He's a stats guy. Statistician. Yeah, but he, 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 like, if they get a sack or something like that, he's he's the guy who writes it down. He just goes, sack! It's not a hard job. Any idiot can do it. I don't know why I'm looking at you, Bobo. But anyway, uh, so so he, it's an easy job. And so so now I want them to lose, you know? And so when I lost yesterday, I'm like, oh, and five, like, I can't, I, I can't believe my good fortune. And then their best player gets fucking taken down. And then he's a showboat, and he's, he's the reason people hate the NFL. It's like, he, he, to it last week, he shit like a dog, remember? I do. You think that that's was, not karma? That was against the Eagles. That was like. Two that was there. against the. No, it doesn't matter. But the point is, he's a showboat, and that's all the all the wide receivers think. Oh, they're gonna be a showboat because they get a, they get a lot of endorsement, and he did he did get a big endorsement from uh, I think from uh, Nike or somebody Under Armour, whatever. El Sassoon like, with that hair. Twenty seven million. Yeah, and he's doing <laughs> he's doing a uh, Head and Shoulders commercials. But the point is. Listen, if you sh if you're a showboat, you're gonna get it. You know, like I, I gotta worry about me because I talk. I, I'm like the I'm like the Serpico of comedy now. I gotta sure. I gotta watch my back at every Why? corner. People want me taken out. They're assholes. Russ Maneev, he goes every time he sees me. He goes, I can't believe you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's like, but if you're a wide receiver, don't don't be a dick. Yeah, but I, I, I think don't think they gotta be a dick because then they'll get a job after, and he he will get a TV job because he is gorgeous. But uh, the the point is that like it's look look listen. What you want to do, wide receiver? It's a short no. It's a short fucking career. So to have everybody, every other guy on a defense wanting to fucking take out your ankle or your knee, they're gonna get you. Oh yeah. So that was just bad luck. But again, and also also there's there's too many fucking injuries in football, right? Aren't there? Brutal sport. No, it's like and and the, the, the owners are so cheap. That they're, they're like, let's keep 55 guys. How many guys do I have on the team? 50 guys or 55? Probably, right? 55, yeah. You should have like 100. 
They should Whoa, have a hundred guys because they're they, they're going to be so many injuries. Yeah, but then the fucking then it'll be fucking ninety five dollars for a fucking hot dog over there if they have a hundred guys. I don't know if you've been there recently, but it still is, my friend. Mike, pretty high up they, there. The, the owners make a fortune. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, they're the they're they. It's ridiculous how much money they make. So. So they should have more players because these guys. The, I think the Giants had four wide receivers get hurt yesterday. You can pick people yeah, up though. I was, like I was watching that game yesterday, and I just had this disgust look on my face. I'm a Giants fan. I want hey, can you? I try to. I forgot to. I texted Gino to. Can you guys see if Gino can call in? I want to see what his take on this. Do you know Gino Bisconti? Vaguely. He's Italian. I, I thought he'd be Gino. good to Gino's be calling right. for Columbus Day. I want, can I say something about Columbus? Yeah. I think they're fucking blowing the way out of proportion. First of all, we don't know what he might have did some evil shit. I'm I'm sure he probably did. People know they all things. did back in 1992. Right? Nobody. Mike, Mike Harvey Weinstein did some evil shit in 1990. You have a pretty woman. <laughs> Go ahead. Times change, people. That's the whole thing. People are still. Well, let's talk about this. Harvey, people, people. Somebody tweeted that you know S N L didn't do any jokes about Harvey Weinstein, and I said because he's friends with Lauren. People go, oh, I don't think that's it. I go, yeah, it is. It, it of is. Of course. It Harvey Weinstein. He's a New York Jew. Lauren's a New York Jew. You think they're not? And they don't. You think they don't talk in synagogue? Every. Everybody know. Everybody knows the big, the big wig Jews are always in cahoots together. Yeah, and that's oh my goodness, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I want a career. Somebody says, Me too. Well, I'm not fucking Bridges, saying nothing about this time. I'm keeping so my mouth shut with this one. Somebody said. Some somebody <laughs> tweeted. Somebody in show business. He goes, you know, well, it's not up to it's not up to comedy shows to out people. You, you know, the 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 powers that be are supposed to take care of this stuff. The reason the powers that be, they didn't. The reason this guy got away with it for years because people didn't want to fucking name names because then he had too much power. Now that he's not as powerful, people are like, yeah, let's get him now. You know, it's like the same thing with fucking Cosby. Oh yeah, I'm not defending Cosby, but but it's the same thing. Like when he was like big, people were afraid to go at him. Of him. And then after a while, you know, now that. That, now there's it's easier to kind of with the internet it's easier to kind of out people and get like the av avalanche going but this whole thing like harvey weinstein like you know blah 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 that's just how it was it's the, it, so shit was so was columbus bad yes of course he, he probably raped some people but you got you got to face it though this world would be full of flat would would be entirely a flat earthers if it wasn't for him yeah thank you yeah and but also, i didn't mean i, I take didn't the mean, good with the bad no, I'm, and i'm not saying he raped him. people like i'm not saying he raped people like uh like sure he was he a rapist too. Sure he raped people. Yeah, but like back then Probably. it was like you know i mean even when i went to college we didn't know we didn't know there was such a thing as rape you know what? But if, okay, if he did start, you know, it was just, I'm saying like if you if you take if you think take what happened in in the 1400s oh, when did God. he come over 1400? If 1400. you take what happened in 1400 to 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 today's moral code, nothing stands up. You know what I mean? A guy, the fucking Henry VIII, he would just kill his wives if she if they she couldn't make a fucking male heir. And I would love to do that. Yeah, but the thing is, but okay, if Columbus started this. The no, I would love to, have to live in that kind of. I can't even say to a woman that she might be transgendering. It's a tough world we live Not in. Not getting no. a fucking email. Yeah, but if Columbus thought of this, the King pilgrims Henry never got any going. emails. Yeah, Not King one. Henry. Not one email. There was no Yelp to complain about his no, kingdom. Your head would be rolling on the floor for being an idiot to him. I mean, so what was your point, Mike? I'm sorry. No, what I'm saying is. Okay, if Columbus did do this, okay, I'll say, say he did. What? I'm sure he did. What did he do? People, You're right? a history buff. He devastated people, but the pilgrims kept it on going and going and devastated Native Americans and black people. It fucking Wait, created genocide he was, here. You're saying he was mean to people here? No, I'm saying after him, this tradition still carried on. I mean, the pilgrims weren't exactly saints, and it went on after that. Listen, and, just what did they, say, what they been, say Columbus did? He came here and he killed people? Yeah, he invaded. He the, There was a tribe called, I think it was... Tanto or Tanto, I forgot how to say the it. People but who run Foxwoods? <laughs> no, no, they were. They, he didn't even come to close to America. He came to like the Dominican he Republic. He didn't come close to Foxwoods. <laughs> he didn't even come close to America. He came close, I think, like the Dominican Republic, or Haiti, in that area. He never came here. I thought he discovered no. America. He, no, he came. He didn't even come close to us. He didn't. No. Are you just uh, making this up? No. You gotta check that. Story. Check where. Check where uh, yeah, Columbus. He landed in uh, Haiti, Dominican yeah. Republic. He, so he never, never came to the United no. States. Not maybe, even close. Maybe a second or third time around, but I I don't think so. I think he no. went there the whole time. Yeah. Eric the Red Listen, came here to Haiti Col now. Haiti's Haiti's not easy to deal with. So I can imagine back then how oh how gosh. out of control. Oh, they got they got a huge statue of him in Dominican Republic. Do they? Because yeah. they appreciate. Yeah, I, I, what I, I, I bet I've been to Dominican Republic and I've seen that statue. 
He sailed on to Spain on the Listen, if, you, if, you, if you're if you're like a guy if you're a guy um <laughs> if you're a guy no, if you're a guy and you're you you travel from Europe in that day and age coming here and then you land somewhere you it's you, you, there's no hotel no. you know what I mean no. There's no, there's a, no, there's no Marriott courtyard. So my point is, you're gonna be a little rough around the edges. You I mean, you're not, you're not gonna be. Maybe your fucking man. Maybe you're not. Your manners are not gonna be proper. Maybe you're gonna kill some people because they're gonna want to kill you. Well, I mean, there's, it's impressive that these people came over with like two or three hundred people and enslaved millions of people. I know. It is impressive. It's impressive. It's fucked up, but it is impressive. You can't not say it's impressive. That- it's like the upset of the century. If you if you went, if you went <laughs> no, and get, if you went and made a game, made a bet there, yeah, you, you would have bet, bet on the Indians, right? Yeah, exactly. Me too, because they were big people and they were fierce, but they got wiped out by the Euros. Yeah, well, they weren't they good were with gods. they weren't good with money. I mean, they sold in Manhattan for like what twenty five something. Twenty four dollars. They just looked at everything differently. They also got oh, yeah. fucking poisoned by fucking their health and shit too, and they all died that way too. They didn't have health, and there was no Obamacare to no save Obamacare them. back then either. Yeah, but the euros brought a lot of diseases here too. With them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Listen, but you can't go. Listen, you could say that about everything. Pretty soon, people are going to turn against Hitler. You know what I mean? Like you can't. You can't say should have. They should have. Ba- they should have fucking you shot can't, that. You can't say like listen. Uh, you know, the funny thing about Hitler, <laughs> no, like when people like well, used to make Hitler jokes, I mean, Hitler, like if you, if, if you were like around the fifties and the sixties, Hitler just happened. Oh yeah. You know I mean, like, you know, Hitler was like hey, Hitler, Hitler, but you know, I was born at, I was, I'm old, but even like Hitler meant nothing to me. Cause it seemed like ancient history when I, when people were talking about it, when I was like in high school or whatever. But if you're like my parents or whatever, Hitler's like a dude, like they knew him. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh, like Steven Spielberg and shit, like, he, he's not that old. But I'm saying, like, Hitler didn't happen that long ago. So people are like, Hitler, that could happen again. It's like, nah, that was, like, ancient history. But it really isn't. People are very short-sighted on history. Like, no, I'm saying people, if, you, if, you, if you were born, like, if you were born, like, people saying. like JFK now, you know? If people who are born now or in their 20s are like, JFK was ancient history. But he wasn't. You know what I mean? My mom was fucking, that's, he died on her when she, her 30th birthday. You oh, know what I mean? She was in tears. No, it was a, it ruined her birthday. So I'm saying, I'm saying it's like Hitler wasn't that long ago. But I'm saying if you take any, any old history and then put it in today's morals, you can't even do it with stand up. You can't even do. St- I mean, if fucking Jerry Seinfeld's complaining about political, political, political correctness, then, then you can't, you can't even take jokes that used to work five years ago and do them now because it just doesn't hold up. Nothing holds up. No. Unless you're a fucking snowflake. Unless you have like a gingivitis. You know what I mean? Unless you have some kind of disease that you that you do your whole act about. Unless right? you're doing impressions. Impression. <laughs> Something safe. Jeff Dunham. Who? He, yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't been, mock with him. He's Jeff, a fucking zillionaire. Well, even if Jeff Dunham does something uh, edgy, he has the fucking puppet say it. Yeah, but you know, Dunham also invented like a one-person helicopter. He's a genius. What does that mean? He really is. I, I see biography about is that an expression? Yeah, I think that was around before Jeff Dunham, right? I don't know. Person helicopter. He one man helicopter. No, I, no you I might be mixing it up with it. somebody else with the last. No, no. Time can we look look this up? I definitely know. Hey, can you get on the uh, Google about uh, who manned the, and created the first uh, one man helicopter? I'm, so, okay. Maybe I'm and wrong. People but... slam. Uh, people slam Columbus for for thinking he was in India. But, you know, they didn't have Google fucking maps. You no. know what I mean? He, this is with you today. Are no, you broken? I'm confused. No, he, he didn't have, turn Google, he didn't have Google, Google he, maps. He and broken, people are like, oh, he got relax. lost. Yeah, he didn't have fucking GPS. No shit. He didn't have turn left here. He didn't have Siri. They, result, the guy, the guy, to, the guy, the guy f- floated off into the fucking uh, horizon. They thought he was going to fall off the of fucking course. cliff. So, first of all, he was a, he was a psychopath. Or even trying that. Well, you you don't even go on the fucking tough rides at the amusement park. I'll meet I'm terrified of them. I should have played along. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> he hey, was Kevin, an asshole, and Kevin, it's just Gino. Uh, Gino's on hold, and he said he's gonna only wait one more minute while watching this fucking group of people that should be living under a burning bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on fire already. Let's oh, take his goodness. call. Oh, let's take him, guys. Gino. Hello, Gino. Did hey, you know hey, Columbus? Let's, let's not. Let's not. Let's not ever do that again, shall we, guys? Let's not have them text me saying they need you to call in so I can watch 
Mike educate you on Columbus? <laughs> Stop you, it. Do you know Columbus Stop didn't it. discover America? No, he never came close what? to it. Amerigo, uh, did Mike tell you Amerigo Vespucci named it and he never got to America? Shut the fuck up. His boat went south. He was fucking whores. Columbus discovered America. One more moron trying to rewrite history and take down statues. Columbus discovered America. Slaves were popular at the time. You got to take your slave teeth if you were president. Shut the fuck up and live in the now. Are you we know, he came to the We have to listen to one more person who is lucky enough to be in a fucking country that thank God for people like Columbus who had the balls to leave the country and live however they were living then gave you the right to live here now fucking Bichetti, and go back and try and revise the people that gave you your fucking life. I picture him dressed like Mussolini right now. Heritage. I know. I'm trying to Wrong. fucking embrace all this other shit that will get you laid because the thing that will get you laid is Ben Franklin. Lots of his face on bills so you can fuck a hooker. Now, what do you want? Who do you got in Monday Night Football tonight, Gino? <laughs> Your daddy took the fucking Vikings and he predicted <laughs> Sam Bradford would be playing, but his best joke of the week was, even though it was my only loss, was to take the Pittsburgh Steelers because they have more weapons than the Bay Area. And I said, not San Francisco, the Mandalay Bay Area. Yes. Like that Goodness. guy, plenty, yes. plenty of shiny black weapons. Plenty of shiny black Wait, weapons. Gino, yeah. Gino. What did you want to talk about, kid? <laughs> Gino, did, where, you knew all this about Columbus, that he never went to America, that he just went to Haiti? Yeah, I'm trying to think uh, where I, who told me that. Oh, yeah, my teacher in fifth grade. He got as far as the Dominican Republic, you know. Look Your it up. It was probably um, Italian, but then he, then he then he went home. It was just like a it was like a one nighter. Like how long did he stay my, in my, Haiti? Tell me when he landed in Haiti. Was it Amerigo Vespucci, one of his dudes that fucking actually landed? No, on the he New landed world? in he the Dominican in Republic in Haiti, you know. Look it up. What, wait. He never came well, close to the you. You're know. wrong. Gino I'm has saying, a good point. I'm, I'm Gino has a good wrong. point. People don't even know. He is credited with, with discovering America. I know. I'm saying well, if it I... were for people like Columbus and yeah. Washington and fucking Robert E. Lee who fought in the fucking uh, Spanish American War for this country, that people want to fucking suddenly. Fuck, for all that, you're like the guy that his dad does one thing wrong and said he never loved me and need an excuse to be fucking impotent. Fucking, I know he didn't land on America, but he is why you're sitting there at that desk next to Bobo saying, I may be the second smartest person here. Thank God for Tom <laughs> Cassidy. That's why, Mike. So why give hey, a Columbus is impotent? Is that what you're school? saying? But you know, I didn't school go to Delaware Community College. You can't help it, buddy. I don't care you what know? you learned in school, Mike. A school that you spent the best four years of your life in. Fifth well, grade, Gino, school. I didn't go to I Delaware to Community College, buddy. It suddenly gives you the right to sit there like all these other... No offense, Gino. You know how many? All these other. Sit down, Garrett. It took you nine years. They want to go great, back buddy. in the very country they're living in and then decry the people that helped us be here. The quote of you know, called Wanda. Did you, you learn know, that in, uh, German now did you learn in Delaware Empire. Community College after Let's fucking nine years? Finish. His time is valuable. Okay. He's got to make some bad picks for oh, later today. Yeah. Daddy, Daddy went 0 and 4 in week 4, but I bounced back. I'm, four, I'm 3 and 1 this week. I need the uh, Vikings tonight. Gina, and if but you Gina's got it. Daddy's line when I said Bradford would be playing, you'd be getting two and a half. Now that line is now that line is going up so high. It's right next to Bichetti's cholesterol. Yeah, but you know what? Though, why Gino calls himself Daddy? Because he knows he'll never be one. Whoa! <laughs> that's because that's because every day I live with, I keep uh, at least that's three fours up in a walk up. That's right. Daddy's not stupid. Oops. I didn't hear anything except walk up. I'm sure. I know. Me too. He's fucking. He's, he's been drinking since four o'clock. Yeah, how like, bad is Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh is such a fucking disappointment, but they'll be fine. They'll turn it around. Great yeah, but isn't, do. isn't big the isn't, 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 that, isn't, this, this is what gets me, and the Chargers did the same thing. It's like they just stopped using. When you have a guy like Le'Veon Bell, who unlike yeah, we don't the want problem, to name people in the NFL we now that they go, we'll, we'll, we'll keep our running backs fresh, you know, and we'll rotate them in. But some great running backs, and you remember, Kev, you grew up with me, like fucking, you know, Earl Campbell, fucking Billy Sims. These are guys, Barry Sanders, that the more you give them the ball, it's like anything else. The more reps you get on stage, remember that, Mike, the more reps you get, the better you get at something. Yeah. And that's why fucking Melvin Gordon goes this week. He's like, I don't know why I'm not getting the ball. So what do they do? Instead of 11 times, they give it to him 20 times, two touchdowns, 120 total yards. And maybe when fucking Tomlin realizes just to give the ball to fucking Le'Veon Bell and throw the ball to Antonio yeah, Brown and not like, get cute because they have so many other weapons. No one's even listening. Again. And they no, no, no. It's like, he starts doing this, this thing about football and no one gives no, Once he shit. says Le'Veon Bell, people are like, come on. Just Unless you're enough. Le'Veon Bell's brother. You know, Slurring like, your speech there, oh, buddy. Hey, Gina, but maybe Big Ben is old. I mean, Eli Manning's old. They're, these guys are getting old. 
Well, the thing that, and this I give complete credit to Colin Coward, too. I think he's so brilliant when he talks about sports. He said a couple years ago, the owners were so cheap. They're like, rather than give these guys money, we'll give them less practice time. Like you always read about that, like in OTAs now. And he said offensive lines need those reps, and they've gotten terrible. So now as a result, you've got these old QBs that are all doing terrible. I'll throw in my boy Rivers, Rivers, Manning, Roethlisberger, all these old pocket passers. Perfect example, look no further than the Texans opening week. They have Savage in behind a patchwork offensive line, and he fucking gets killed. So they put in fucking Deshaun Watson, not so much because they think he's better, which he turned out to be, but they put him in because he can scramble and make plays, and now look at how well that team is doing. I know they lost last night, but Watson had five TD passes. That's the thing with Roethlisberger. He's not getting worse. He's still, if you give him oh, he's time, getting worse. he will destroy you. He's getting you worse. You know what I mean? But that's no, they're, the they're afraid to get, they're, I could see Roethlisberger yesterday. He, they get rid of the ball because they don't want to get fucking, they don't want to get sacked or hurt. So they get, they just throw the ball up in the air because they're like, I don't give a, I don't want to get hurt by this black guy. The game's too violent. It's too, what do you think about Beckham getting hurt? You think he deserved it? I'm trying to think you said in week four, he was a bitch. All he wants is attention. Let me tell you something that any Giants fan will tell you. Since he went on that boat with Bieber, they have not won a single game because he makes everything about him, and you cannot win games when you have a guy that puts himself in front of the team. And, and you know what? You, you know yeah, what? The, one of the, the, the coach should have said after that boat ride, he should have said, you know, he should have done something instead of acting like it was okay. Because that's the thing. You, you you enable these motherfuckers, and then the rest of the players go, oh, we can do whatever we want to, and there's no discipline. Where's Bobby Knight when you need him? Oh, where's fucking, where's that other kid? When you make it about you and not about team. You know what I said? Imagine if fucking he was on the Browns. It's the Browns. That's where he'd wind up. Imagine if he was on the Patriots and Bill Belichick was his head coach. It's there's a joke. He, 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 would, he would cut him or, or he wouldn't play him. This, he would do even this, which is last year Belichick did this, and it makes so much sense when you see someone do it that it makes you realize that your coach is an idiot because they had that guy Jamie Collins who was fucking a really great linebacker, and he was in a contract year, and he started playing like shit and talking about money. And the next day, week five, you know, it, 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 <laughs> like the middle of the season, you know what he did? He traded him to Cleveland for nobody. So he goes from the t- team that's going to win the Super Bowl, and most people know it, to waking up in the worst city, football city in the fucking world. And I guarantee Belichick walked into the locker room the next day be like, hey, uh, anyone else have a question about the contract? No, I think we should go play yep. football. I think we should go play football. Yep. I like waking up in the greatest like football children, city you in the world. You gotta fucking let them know who's boss. That's what he would have done with Beckham. Beckham, Beckham would have been like, why don't we put you back on a boat? Why don't we right. put you back on a boat and let you go play down in Miami? Right. Back. But no, that, that's the thing. And that's why... Great so if, you, if you're on a boat, games. if you're on a boat and you're about to play a playoff game and you, you take a picture... And put on Instagram. You should be cut. They should just put. They go. Yeah. We don't. We don't tolerate that. We're not. It's not a fucking gay men's club. It's a fucking <laughs> and football I'll, team. I'll, and you got to establish. Gino, some. shut the fuck up. You got to establish boundaries. <laughs> just like they're your fucking children. Like I don't let my kids go on a boat and t- take their shirt off and take a picture. <laughs> what does what message? does it send to the other players on two levels? One, this guy can do whatever he wants because he's better than you. So right yeah. now, I'm devaluing. He's more, like valu- he's more like, valuable oh, than, than the rest of the team, and the rest two, of the like, players. I'll do whatever I fucking want anyway. Because if, they're if not they winning them, with them. They're not winning with them. So what's the point? It just shows you a wide receiver doesn't make that much difference in a fucking game. You need a quarterback and you need an O-line because there's a bunch of black guys that can catch and run. I mean, go to the fucking yeah. park, Rucker Park right now. Uh Dude, I mean, does anyone watch these video, these looting videos in Houston? That's the thing. That's why Texans. That's why the Texans are so good this year. They practiced all off season running with TV sets. These guys are good. Gino, Gino Bisconti, everybody. This guy's the easy. Love you, Mike Bichetti. Sorry, I took out my anger on the world on you. You're the best man. I apologize. He's a true original. It's okay, Gino. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy he Thanksgiving. Broke the mold. Am I right? Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Columbus Day. Uh, you know. Happy Thanksgiving. It's, it's Thanksgiving in Canada. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because so, we had some Canadians at the show last night. I love Canadians. Yeah, everybody yeah, does. Yes, so any of my friends that are Canadians, happy Thanksgiving, whatever that is. Well, you got a lot of fans? I got I got follow, I got follow Twitter followers all How over many? the place. How many? Too many to count. Well, I mean, they, they count them for you. In any number, you know. <laughs> no, but I, got, I know there's... I know there's, there's... Do it right on Twitter. How yeah, many, how many really followers easy. Bobo have? Over? One, uh, 196,000. What? That's a lot. What? That's a lot. He's very popular. I'm officially going to commit murder. Hey, he's got a hey, lot he has 196,000? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a very important guy. That's a lot. 
Hundred and are they paid? No, people love them, man. No, That's a lot. A, there, there's a, there's a lot that are not paid, but then there are some that I don't know. Some glitches, something happened on Twitter that there's some bots on there. He has over ten times more than me than than me does. I have fifteen thousand, I think. You have more than me too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man! What am I doing wrong? I know. I think I have more than Gino, so that's that's some saving grace. I don't know. No, Gino. I like. Yeah, I look at those guys. Not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gino's not even verified. Burgess, but I'm not Gino. verified either. I never, I never tried it out. Hey, listen, baby. Oh, were you, you verified? 15, no, I'm not verified. Amazing. How do you have 196,000? You're not verified. That's I a... have no freaking idea how. And you have to take a bus to a train to get here? Yeah, you yep. should be getting hand gliding into here with yeah, 196,000. Like a, a black Absolutely. Pick you up or something. Jesus Christ. Am I right? It's yeah. Fucking, <laughs> that's a lot of followers. Where yeah, but I think. Where did from? Just being on the, on the different shows? Yeah, but I think now it's easy to get verified because yeah, a while right. ago Twitter had to do it, but now I think you can apply for it. You can pay somebody? No, apply for it, I think. Yeah, but it's still, it's Twitter still has to verify. Lobo, do you tweet a lot? Yeah, I tweet. I tweet a lot. Okay. Maybe that's it. Maybe you got to tweet more, Kevin. I tweet all the time. My wife was always like, you're, you, you know, whenever we get into a fight, she goes, and you're Twitter fans. I'm like, come on, man. You got to tweet. If you're, if you're, first of all, I, I tweet, I tweet, uh, Funny stuff. I mean, uh, in my you're always <laughs> on that tweeting though. I, I like what you tweet. It's no, funny, I tweet, man. I try to make jokes. Or I try to be controversial. I, I'm not just tweeting like fucking pictures of my kids and my fucking ham sandwich. That's what Instagram's for. Instagram, Instagram is gay. Instagram is gay, and in the cool way though. No, yeah. it's not cool at all. Oh, no, it is cool. I like it actually. A lot of cool, cool things no, on there. How many followers you got on Instagram, Bobo? I don't. I don't really use Instagram. Why that would much. you? If you have one hundred ninety-six thousand, I don't use it that much. I okay. just know some people that are friends of mine that are only on there. So. And how? And you? You run your own accounts? Yeah, I run my own accounts. <sighs> I should hang. <laughs> I want to hang out with him. Pick up some of his Twitter followers. Yeah. Hopefully, can you oh, retweet the show? We have one hundred ninety-six thousand Twitter followers. Did you know that? I I knew that. I knew I had a lot of Twitter followers. One ninety-six k. Jesus Christ. And how oh. are you following? Four thousand, but that's nothing. That's it's small nothing. potatoes compared to one ninety six k. So he's kind of right. Too much to count. They don't even have the specific number up. What do you mean? He was right. He said I have too many to count. He doesn't have one hundred ninety six on the button. He's got around a, a little bit over one hundred ninety six k. You could get up to two hundred thousand. Oh yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What does your wife think? I'm not married. <laughs> I blocked. You gotta get out. a divorce. I'm act no, I'm, a I'm actually single. I believe it. No, but uh, oh. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that, or maybe I did. But it, that's not the point. The point is, uh, do, are you getting snatch from your Twitter followers? Uh, unfortunately, I'm still a virgin. Oh. You're a virgin? Yep. See, that's the thing. Yeah, do you yeah. want a lot of Twitter followers, yeah, or do you want to feel vagina? It's a tough call. No, but we got to end I that. I don't think it's that. I just think it just hasn't happened to you. We got to end that for happen. I saw a movie about this. Oh, we got to end this for his, pro his thing. that? 40 year old virgin. How old are you, Bobo? 35. We got to wait five, five years. years. No, we could make a sequel. 35 year old, 35 -year -old virgin. virgin. I'm, I'm going to predict it'll happen before bef before I turn 40. I think it'll happen in the next 12 months. Why don't you get a prize to 12 months? No, we'll we'll, I'm just saying within that window. You're going to get come a hooker. So quick. You're going to come so quick. Why don't you want to get a prostitute? I don't know. It doesn't count if I like paid someone to. It don't count. It, it does count. count. It doesn't count. So wait a minute. Have you, you had a prostitute it. before? No, it, I've never. It counts okay. more. It counts. Has anyone Practice. ever touch your dick? Uh, yet or has there? I mean, there's been. I there, am right now under the table. There has been. There has been, <laughs> there has been a clip. There, there was a famous moment on a on Anthony's show, the handy karaoke bit. So somebody touch your dick. Has someone I'm touched your fucking Tom Petty? Somebody touched your <laughs> dick to make you come? Yeah, yeah, it was that handy as I said that handy karaoke bit. Okay, so oh. it did so it did happen. Yeah. You're not a total virgin. You just haven't had a vagina thing. Yeah. And there and there was one time I uh I uh, there was you know that woman sells that sells the bootleg DVDs? No. This it was this where is it? Anthony's house? Yeah, this was back in the day this was very er in the early days when he was just filming in his house. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? What's he wearing? I don't know. That was a shirt. It was a handy karaoke. Did she? Oh, you're right. Oh, she uses her boobies. Oh. That's a lot of pressure on you, huh, Bobo? It's like Andy Kindler. Oh, 
Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, what a life this guy lives. Yeah, what song is that? Now he's trying boys. to sing Fight for Your Right to Party by the Beastie Boys. <laughs> She's juicing her tits? Yep. Oh, that's a, that takes longer, though. Cash how long it takes, if though. You're, if, you're, if you're paying for it, have him use their hand. It's quicker. So you don't pay as much. Know, it's a little more fun, though, for him, though, you know? Oh, t- titty fucking is hard. I mean, when you got... Uh, Anthony and that black guy looking at you. I mean, Jesus I Christ, any sort of fucking. I know it's a lot of pressure on everybody. It is. Oh yeah. But titty fucking. I don't think I, I don't know if I could ever come with titty fucking because it's too. It's just it's always off. I love it. It. it I, I always. You know, what do you do with your? You know, like where do you position everything? Makes me come like a, a racehorse. It's oh, awesome. It? Right? Yeah. You're not a virgin, Mike. No, of course not. I mean, you lose your virginity. 1980. Believe, believe me, he got he got a lot of snats back in the 80s. Snatch. <laughs> he got a lot of snat, snatch back in the 80s. I, I, I called it back then. No, well, I was I was banging my friend's sister for 10 years. On no, you weren't. So I was. I was a scumbag. Why is that a scumbag? You well, I felt phone? bad because now. Your friend now? No. You know Did you ever now. find out? I think he had suspicions of it, but. Where's that know. woman now? She's with some drug addict who beats her up, I think. You know, She's better off with you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mikey's not going to beat her up. No, no. I I think think he's a lover, not a fighter. So when was the last time you made love, Mike? Let's make it about uh, Boba, though. Both. Oh, so we're going back and forth. I actually figured out that the woman who was always selling bootleg DVDs in the supermarket by me, she actually sells hand jobs. Oh. I, I, I did this as a goof. I made the hand job gesture when she's like, as she'll, she'll like bombard customers in the store selling her bootleg DVDs. I made the hand job gesture. <laughs> and uh, started all of a sudden giving me good prices for. Mm, really? How much? Where is it? So I got to take the bus there? Or I just take the yeah, double no, L. By me. I, I don't think that woman's there anymore. But you re- if, there. You, if you retweet. And I think I paid like five bucks. If you that. retweet her information, you get a couple free hand jobs. Yeah. I think I paid like, I think I paid like 10. That. I think I paid ten so bucks. Wait, a woman was selling bootleg DVDs in the supermarket. Yeah. And you went like this, like woman's an you, entrepreneur. You, like, no, she definitely get a hand job from you. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I did. I just you made. Have a you, hunch you, you, you do that to everybody? No, I just had. I just had. I just. Go to Dunkin' Donuts. No, what happened was uh, me. Oh, me oh, what happened was me and a friend of mine that thought, hey, you know that woman that's always selling bootleg DVDs. You know, you know how funny it would be if we just made that. If someone made that gesture in front of her and see how she reacted to it. Right, sure. Why would a supermarket let her sell bootleg DVDs in their supermarket? Was she just like hand jobs. What are you like talking about? Bodega, she or? just walks into the supermarket like a. Anybody else it's like an and has that, that bag with their bootleg DVDs? So she gave you a hand job. Yeah, ten bucks. Oh, cool. Oh, she wow. did? Yeah. Yeah, it was ten That's bucks. Where? Ten bucks. Out behind the behind the supermarket? <laughs> no. At her house. No, it was a it was somewhere in a parking lot. Oh, but I thought, Better than a fucking studio. Jesus yeah, Christ. Behind the dumpster? Ten bucks. That's a good price. That's not bad. It's good. Yeah, it's good. You were down, or was it, is that what you? Oh, <laughs> no, it was Columbus it? Day, Mike. It's not Yashashana. Also, I don't think there's any going back now. I don't think you know. No, I'm just. Kidding. Oh, I know there is no going back now, Tom, because I want to. I, well, I want to work in this thing. I don't want to like you know be anti semitical He's the one who's saying it. Yeah, anti semitical Wait, first of all, Mike, what were you saying about garbage? Dumpsters. You said something about. I thought they, I thought she might give hand jobs behind the dumpster. So you only got one hand job, and that was the end of it. You didn't make another appointment. No, I didn't. All right. You could sometimes you just got to go to that supermarket, and uh, if you're trying to look, you can't really look for that woman. Sometimes you just happen to be at that supermarket, and she just bombards you with uh trying to sell her bootleg DVDs. Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm saying you once you got a hand job, was it a good hand job? Mm, I guess yeah. it was a me- mediocre. There's nothing to compare it to. It might might, might have been a mediocre hand. <laughs> if he's, he's never had a, if he's a virgin and he called it mediocre. It's tough, man. DVD salesman who gives hand jobs. He's not a salesman. Saleswoman. I mean, it's it's just someone... People don't watch DVDs anymore. There's an, another lady selling Blu-rays giving head to people. <laughs> <laughs> tough business. Um, my goodness. So I think. You got a lot of followers. You got a few. We should try and oh, see if any followers. of your followers want my, to have sex with my Bobo. My followers are, uh, I mean, when I first started doing the M- MLC, I would get people, women would send me pictures and stuff. But I was, I was, uh, I was not married then. You're separated. I, mean, I was married. I separated. 
But anyway, I didn't. They don't do anything. They just they don't fuck it. They just send pictures. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of that sending pictures out out there. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Like, they don't want to. They don't want to fuck you. They don't want to fuck you, Bobo. But they. But you know, I'm surprised they don't like try to you know flirt with you a little bit. You know, especially after the Kumi. No one's video. gonna want to fuck him at some point. I mean, what do you? Let's, no, no, no. He's in his prime, so if it's not gonna happen, it better happen. Thirty-five. Soon. You're a young man. Yeah. No, not really. I'm saying, you know, women want to fuck guys when they're 20, you know, and and as you get older, they want to fuck you less. Yeah, but this woman his own age, I want to do Mike, it. Mike, how old are you? I'm 89. No, but women don't want to really fuck you, right? No, they I get fuck the fuck you more when you were younger, right? Yeah, I get the friend zone bullshit and that nonsense. Yeah, friend zone, right? A lot of people want to be friends. So I hate Bobo, that. Call. I mean, we're gonna. I mean, I'm sure people are aware that you're a virgin, you know. So yeah, yeah, I'm sure they're they're aware. I'm surprised one woman would just fuck you just to it's like a pity. be a nice person. Yeah, what is wrong right? with these people? Like they'll donate fucking things to Puerto Rico with the hurricane, but they won't fuck Bobo. It's like, it's like just be the a morons. humanitarian. You know what and I mean? Libtards, man. No, if you if you spread <laughs> your Touch. legs and let this young man fucking put his dirty dick inside of you, how bad? No, if you wear a condom, it's not even dirty. No, it's you not. Wear a condom. What's the difference? What's the? It's like it's not. There's not nothing permanent to it. They'll get tattoos. I'm a whore. There's probably some hookers. Don't let this guy fuck you. Does your wife any, have any friends that we could set Bobo on a double yeah, date? No problem. You imagine if I said to my wife, will one of your friends fuck Bobo? She already wants to divorce, so we don't need that. Fair enough. Mike, you met, don't say you met my wife. She's a sweet lady. I'll punch you right in your face. <laughs> She's hot, though, bro. It don't matter, Mike. It, marriage don't stay together because the woman's hot. There's a lot of well, hot it, women. They all get divorced. <laughs> You've never been to California. It doesn't hurt. People get divorced. No, Tom's right. It don't hurt, though. It don't hurt, but after a while, it's like it's this. It's, you see your wife, even if she's good looking, it's like you get used to it, and then you don't see it anymore. Oh. Like, and nobody's that good looking. Like nobody. Like well, you see women on the street. I can already picture. I see women on the street. I could see how they wouldn't be good looking because you're wearing like, big shoes. So you take off the shoes, and then you take off the fucking hair, and then you take off the makeup, and they're probably wearing fake and you know the the bra that makes their tits look good. So once you take all that shit off, that's why you put the. That's why you turn off the lights when you're fucking. Yeah. Oh, but remember that. Turn up yeah, the um, lights. And it seems going to be hideous. And it seems like uh, in Hollywood, they it happens almost uh, average every week. What are you saying? Divorces. Divorces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah. Because, you know, in Hollywood, because people, they don't, first of all, Holly, here's my theory about people getting divorced in California. You get sick, like, listen, you know, the weather's great in California, but you get sick of it. No. You get sick of it. So you can't have, even if your wife's beautiful and the weather's great all the time, you get sick of it. People need, people need variety. So after a while, they can't change the weather, so they change their wife. Like, it's, it's very plus, simple. And plus said they got, they got the money to afford the, all the costs. Because of, of, of the real estate properties. I knew, I had a friend, Mike Gibbons, his wife basically left him because in, in, uh, in California, it automatically equal split of property even though he basically made all the money so you get to a point your your house is worth a million and a half dollars you go like fuck it let's get divorced you don't you don't even have to ask him you go i'm getting divorced because you know you're going to get half the money so they just get divorced they get they split the money they don't have to they fuck somebody else it, it's just it makes perfect sense right in some you know like new york state i don't know what the laws are but but it's not like a clean split you have to get a lawyer and they have to go like oh you're going to give this much money there they just go split they just split it in half even if the well, guy made all the no, money even if the guy put no, the put the down, no, a lot, down a lot of other places almost you're you're almost definitely be likely to be clean cleaned up big time Thank you. Right. That's what I'm saying. Probably oh, going to get a say something. I'm going to get a pastrami sandwich and a celery uh, on the way home. Yes, and maybe a hand job. No, listen, when you when you do an anti-Semitic joke and you guys just stare at me, it's like when you do a dick joke in a comedy club and nobody laughs. Yeah. It feels so dirty. Like if it gets alive, you're like, everybody knows that it's a joke. Anyway, uh, no, once you get a lawyer, then you're, the price goes up. But if, in, if you're in L.A. and your house is worth this much money, the lawyers know they can't make a lot of money because it's going to be a, a clean split. And they just did it to make it fucking no-fault divorce. And then, but the, why, why would the wife stay? The wife's sick of the husband, too. It's always like the guy wants to fuck somebody else. But the, the women get sick of the husband. Yeah, but how long? sick of his fucking Let me ask you something, not even right? get, They get sick of the guy. They get sick of his habits, like where he puts his fucking clothes and what he does when he sits down and what he what he watches on TV. They wow. get sick of it. They get sick of the guy. Yeah, but how long did it take you to get sick of it? Sick of what? Uh, from when you first got married to now. A couple of weeks. That's it? <laughs> That's it? 
I thought well, it, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't write it down. I had to keep up. No, I'm saying I'm not Anne Frank. You got married pretty old too. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I mean, did. I mean, thanks, Tom. It seems like a good time to get married. Yeah, you're an old man. No, I didn't give a shit when I got married. It's like now I don't even give a shit. I don't give a shit. Like my like even if even if something does happen, I don't give a shit. You can't control life. No, but you life think, is a fucking bitch. No, but you think if you have life shit, Mike. Can I finish? Okay, I'm sorry. The shit happens in life. No matter how you plan for it, it don't give a shit. So if you get divorced or you you get married, it don't work out. Shit don't work out. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it do. Sometimes it don't. Yeah, but if you had got married younger, maybe it would have been better. It would have been horrible. That's why I didn't get married till I was no, older. I had I when I was when I was older, I had more money, I had more shit going on. I thought nothing could stop me. You know what stopped me? It. My, I'm not gonna say it. Anyway, next thing you then, know, you're in a fucking Honda yeah. Civic with so plain, and some lady jerking you off for ten bucks. Yeah, but you know, yeah, but you, you know, get grumpy when you're older. Though. That's the thing. Huh? You grumpy when you're older. Though. No, I waited till I was older, cause then I then I knew what the then I knew what was going on when I was older. I was more, I was wiser. I say wait till you get older. When you're younger, you're fucking clueless. Like no. even now, like people go, oh, you want to. It's like I don't even look at women as like sex objects anymore, cause it's just like I know the game. I know that like ah, they're hot. I want to fuck them. I want to give shit away. I want to give my fucking property, my valuables. You know what I mean? Now I'm like, you know what? I can I can talk myself out of it. Like I don't even get hand jobs anymore. Wow, Bobo. That actually that whole thing that hand job that was just cause I someone said to me if the person does uh, say that she does offer hand jobs, that it you can't waste her time. Pay pay for it. <laughs> is, that, is that a haiku? No, that's what someone said to me. He said you're gonna you're gonna waste a person's time that they they offer the hand jobs if they go if they freaking call you to the to the bet to the parking lot to tell you the price for it. Don't <laughs> oh, waste I, this lady's time. You take you know she's fucking said I'll give you a hand I, I, job. I, I, I made I went through the trouble made the gesture in front of her as a goof. She all of a sudden said to head to the part to a parking lot. Should her get off the pot? And yeah. uh, told me to part the cost, the price. It's a good deal. I still don't know what happened, jailhouse lawyer. What do they call the guy? <laughs> <laughs> they call the guy in jail who knew who they who becomes like the lawyer without being a lawyer. You look like that guy. Defendant? I don't. I mean, uh, no. He's there's not, like uh, in every movie, they're like he's the guy all the black guys go to because he's like wiser. He he gives them advice. I don't know, but what my anyway. But so was he saying he did? He's saying that he ingest said to this dvd saleswoman he Go gave her, her he gave her the jerk off <laughs> sign yeah and she sued him and previous to this one of his pals told him hey bobo if you ever give somebody a jerk off sign and then they're like guess what i'm gonna jerk you off you better jerk get jerked off by them because it's fucking wasting her and your time if you don't do it oh yeah so that's why he did it when you initially gave her the jerk off sign you were just being silly bobo yeah, exactly. And then, and your friend, it's like going to a deli and ordering a sandwich and not eating the sandwich. Exactly. Yeah. Just like you, it's nobody wins. Everybody won. She got ten bucks. I'm and talking got, about the sandwich. Depends. You go. You know what? I don't want the sandwich now. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean, sure. You guys will eat it at the deli. What? You guys will eat it from the deli. I'm sure. I can't even follow. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I really can't follow a conversation on my own show. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm. Let's. I feel sorry for the listeners right now. No, but I'm like I can't follow it. No, let's but take a call. Okay, sorry. Do we have any oh, callers? <laughs> <laughs> I was ask you, right? Married people, do they wear? Do they wear? A, <laughs> they just all went like this. No. Do you wear? Do you wear a, a, a raincoat during sex? What? Married people. Of course she doesn't wear a condom during sex. No, 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 no. Oh, good, good, good. I thought married people, I thought, you know, if you were married, you didn't have to wear a raincoat no more. No, the raincoat, no. Forget about it. No, for, no, for, no plug in the fireman's helmet. <laughs> so, um, so what's... It? Condoms, are condoms, are like, they're they're not really a they thing suck. now. Huh? But they're, are they back now or they're not? Of course, so you got to wear one now if, you, if you're not, what you know. What do you mean now? You're AIDS is cured. If you're single. Huh? If you're single and banging random chicks, you should wear condoms. Right, yeah. What are you going to spread? Who knows what they have? STDs are the highest they've ever been right now. Yeah, but not they're not killing anybody. Herpes, chlamydia, yeah. gonorrhea. Yeah, these they're are all great. That sounds like a salad bar. No, it's still fucked up, fucked up to have them. You ain't getting rid of herpes. Gonorrhea is dangerous as fuck. Oh, chlamydia, yeah. It's not so bad. And if... And if you're one that everybody has, a HPV, 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 human problem. <laughs> now I don't, I don't have that. I don't have. Well, of course, wouldn't it be fucked if you had all these? If you had HPV and you're a virgin, that's bad luck. Just off that lady's palm. Yeah. 
I've, That'd be fucked. They, <laughs> oh, God. I've seen these commercials. I've seen these commercials for for all these different uh, for these. She's handling these all these dirty DVDs, all bootlegs. So. It could be she could get herpes from DVDs. I've seen these commercials for these people for the where these people say they have herpes, all these for these herpes medicines. Yeah. I bet you half of them don't even have it, and they're just actors that they just say they yeah, have they're doing it. it for health insurance and they can't get laid because they, they can't get laid because people have seen the commercials they and they sold out to the man pretty sure that's an get... episode of friends <laughs> 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 joey tribbiani he did <laughs> fucking the herpes commercial and you, then, well he doesn't I, know I, that you still from friends I, now but well I, I, I never wrote for friends I, no no i didn't i didn't watch friends back in the day fair back enough in the day, he was too busy not getting laid no, do you think, uh, do you, do you think, uh, uh, okay, I don't even know what I was, I had something, I, I can't remember what I was going to say. Left you. So, Mike, when's the last time you got laid, since we're on the topic? Uh, Tom, put it this way, let's you just. You know, if you feel inclined to answer the question. Let's just say. You and Bubba should, do a, you and Bubba should do a sex show on the <laughs> Network, where you just no, give, let's just say, you give uh, sex advice. In a while? Let's just say the, the 20th century is pretty good, the later half. Later half of the twenty twenty first century, you haven't got laid. No, I, I, I like the full run. It never got fully laid. It's been a while. In seventeen years, maybe, maybe last summer. I don't, I don't pay. You attention. would know if he, if it's once or twice. Long long ago. Ago. I beat the meat. I beat the meat a lot. So, we got a call. That was uh, Mike's last lover. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what was that? Turn your radio down. Who is this? Mike and a Mad Dog. Hey, Brennan. Yeah. Good to hear from you. Bobo, Mike, love you guys. Tom's there. Um, nice hair, Tom. How long did that take? So, uh, <laughs> Who are we talking to? It doesn't even matter. On the, on the sports show with Norm MacDonald, episode four, timestamp 12 minutes, 30 seconds. Kevin is approached by Norm, and you are called Neil. I wonder if that was like planned beforehand or what's going on there. Yeah, that's a good point. I think they just did it as a joke. Yeah, he called me okay. Neil. Yeah, did, did, was that just like Norm on the spot, just kind of fucking with you? Yeah, probably. Yeah, because <laughs> they didn't even show my face, did they? No, yeah, you say, what about this Sugar Ray Mosley guy? And there's like you sitting at like a little eatery or whatever. He comes up from behind. It's like five seconds long. Yeah. They said I. They said I botched it. They all acted like I ruined the scene. I didn't. I, didn't, oh. I had one line. I, I. Well, I wasn't even on camera. But they all act like good job. I know they didn't mean that. I can't get a break. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I think they called me. I don't even. Know, I don't know. I think he might have ad libbed that just to get a reaction from me. Because that's what oh, I did. Yeah. That's you what didn't I did. In the, at all though, it didn't phase you. That's what I did in uh, Raging Bull. You know that scene, Raging Bull, where he goes, uh, "Did you fuck my wife?" No, I still need to watch that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're watching your timestamp and yeah, that was a weird time show stamp. with Norm like Macdonald. Man, ask. No, but uh, they supposedly uh, De Niro said to Pesci, "Did you did you fuck my mom instead of did you fuck my wife?" Because they want to get a different reaction out of Pesci. So he said, you know, he kept saying, "Did you fuck my wife?" He said, "Did you fuck my mother?" He goes, "What?" And that was his, that was supposedly the one they used. Anyway, so I don't know if they did it. I don't know. I, that was that was a. I was just a writer on the show, so it came a when they I got I think I got another three hundred dollars. So I would have sucked a dick. I would have gave Bobo a hand job at a fucking uh, because <laughs> you need money. I need money. I got kids. I, they said you want to do you want to do this scene, and I go yeah, I'll fucking do it. Plus Norm's funny. Oh, I've been trying to I've, I've been trying to plan out uh, some money I can donate. I'm on Ohio unemployment right now, but I'm trying to get it together. Where you live? Ohio unemployment, Ohio. Yeah, Ohio unemployment. What's your? You have a skill set or anything, or do you just? Yeah, not really, but kind of. I, I did get a degree. <laughs> Sounds like Tom yeah, from you... Ohio. No, it doesn't. Well, yeah, it does. This is how you talk. What's your name? Tyler from Ohio. Yeah, it's so weird because I like if we had more calls, I would just hang up on him, but I really can't afford to, so I gotta, I gotta keep talking to him. It's interesting. Yeah, this is. I appreciate. It. I think I was gonna give this most airtime. I don't even know what to say now. <laughs> Better than it looks, huh? All right, hang up on him. Fuck him. Bye, <laughs> Tyler. Tyler, thanks for calling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's the kind of show I want to do. I want to hang up on everybody. But you don't have enough callers. I don't have enough calls. That's <laughs> what I want to do. Mike and a Mad Dog, where people call in and I go, get the shut the fuck up. Even if yeah. the guy makes a good point. You got Brennan. Or whatever yeah, you got Brennan. No, but that's too much like Chip. But I, I'll, yeah. I'll think of something. Yeah, yeah. Just dial tone. Just bam, the dial tone, it's, it's severe enough, right, Bobo? Yep. Thanks, Bobo. 
Anyway, I can't believe women don't fucking this don't work with women. What doesn't work? Oh, with charm. His kind of his kind of quiet confidence. Back in my single days, you know, if I went a little too long, I would just figure it out. And I don't mean that I would physically assault these women. I would go to a bar and try and figure it out and like talk to women. Figure what out? Feel like if you don't get laid for a long time, you figure it out, you know, Bobo. You got to get a little more. You got to get a little more aggressive, Bobo. You got to go to the bar. You got to talk to these women. Wait, you would talk it out with women. I would figure a way to have sex with a woman. First of all, the human nature is supposed to just do its course. Like, like in, if, yeah, if you're a guy and you want to get laid, you're going to get laid because women want a boyfriend. So it's going to come together like a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like when I was single, I would be like, I'll never get laid again. And then all of a sudden I would get laid because my dick wanted to get laid. So your dick is like, your dick will find a way to get laid. I'm not talking about rape. I'm just talking about like, you get more aggressive. Not. You talk to more women. It's, just, it's all about talking to women and being aggressive with them and just being like, because most guys are afraid of rejection. They're afraid of women. So, so, but after a while you, you need to get laid. You come on to women and they'll be like, all right, you can fuck me, I guess. Maybe not a lot of times. Just a couple, and then and then you get your confidence back. It's like doing stand up. You get on stage, you have a couple of good shows. You're like, oh, I'm gonna do more shows. Your dick is your boss, huh? Your dick is the Not boss. The dick is the boss, but sometimes the dick. It's like when you're thirsty, you need you need a drink of water, so your dick needs to get laid once, or especially when you're a younger guy. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You can't wait forever, Bobo. Mm -hmm. Dick boss. The pubic hair is like the hair. Buy <laughs> <Quiet>. it, <laughs> dick boss. What? Bobo, what I'm saying is, I just want you to be more aggressive with these women. You go out to the bar, you talk to one. If it doesn't work out, you move to the next one, and then just keep doing that until you, you get You might want to try a different hat. You know what I mean? Maybe try try like a Yankees hat or like a, a different team because they, the Mets are not associated with like being sexy. You know what I mean? The Mets are like the lovable losers. So wear a Yankee hat, maybe a Giant hat, maybe a. Maybe like a Dallas Cowboy hat. Not not just just to, to turn women on. How about a Pittsburgh Pirates hat? That's Pitts, right. No, Pittsburgh Steelers, Oakland Raiders. Uh, the, the Raiders the, are great. LA yeah, Lakers. Some of your notorious winners. You not the I mean? Knicks. Forget about not them. The, or the Knicks are the Knicks. A lot of black guys wear the Knicks because it matches their shoes, but. <laughs> Maybe no hat at all. Let's start thinking no, outside of the box. Oh, no, a hat. No, I'm not. I'm not usually known for like wearing a hat if I'm trying to pick up girls at a bar. Wait, what do you? No hat at the bar? It dep It depends when I'm there. It depends at the time I'm there. The time of the day, time you mean? Goes, sometimes three in the afternoon. Oh, no, no, I'm <laughs> maybe if I'm, if I'm there. There's around... nobody here. How am I gonna get laid in the no, afternoon? No, if I'm if I'm there around the time I'm maybe I'm watching a game, maybe. But or if you I go to a, when you go to a game to watch uh, like a, a baseball game, you go by yourself or you bring a. You need a wingman. Oh, when I when, I when I go when I go to Met games, I go. Sometimes no, I've gone with friends. To a, I'm talking about to a bar. You can't pick up women at a Met game. No. I think these two need another wingman, though. You know, like, they can't maybe be you. each other's yeah. wingman. Maybe. I'm as cool come with so. Yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe a jailhouse, sure. Tom. I mean, yeah, okay. I'll go out with you two fellas, try to figure something out. No, but seriously, do you bring a wingman? Do you when, when you you gotta have a strategy too, a little bit of a strategy. But is it better to bring a woman with you as a wing person? No, I don't know. No, probably not. People said that woman like it. People say a lot of things. No, but I heard that because if you bring a woman, this is what I thought, right? They were like, that woman will be like, especially if it's a cute girl. How come they might think you're with her? And you know what I mean? Who knows? You know what you're using her for to, to seem like cute girls are into you. But if if he was if he was. Uh, maybe yeah, why wouldn't a cute girl be fucking him if he was such a hot commodity? Yeah, maybe next weekend that. I go to I go to I go to my uh, my local bar, I invite Mike Mike over, to join me. Yeah, and yeah, and you know what? Then I would do I would I would get a I'll go with them, but I need you to give me a fifty dollars stipend. <laughs> yeah, no, to make I, my, you I got make it out to Woodside, then let me know. And then you guys can tape it, and then uh, maybe put it on Instagram. Get some followers on, on yeah, YouTube. It, I would say if I would say if you do the two of you, then get a woman because it looks like one of them is the girlfriend of one of you, and then the other one's just looking and mix and, and then, match. Oh, then <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like you're a normal person. You know what I mean? If, if you if you show up just the two of you guys are, I mean you guys are not easy on the eye. So it, oh, you bastard you. So you bring two <laughs> two of you, and then it looks it looks like you have a lot of charm because Mike has a girlfriend. Get like a very expensive hooker. And then, uh, and then I think you get an otherwise she's gonna hooker. otherwise she's gonna leave. So you get a hooker, you get someone on the clock, and then she sticks around. And then you guys chat it up. Maybe you talk. Maybe you talk about. We're coming at this the wrong way, kind of too, because like you know you're both kind of big on social media. Have you tried the dating apps? Have you tried like Tinder? Tinder, I did, yeah, but it's, it's a lot of hookers on there though. Okay. 
not from my experience. But wait a minute. No. Uh, Have you tried Tinder, Bobo? Uh, Tinder sometimes works well with some people. It works well with some people. It doesn't. But what I'm saying is, for both of you, if you just like every single woman on Tinder, eventually someone's going to want to have sex with you. I don't. I'm very fussy on See you, or uh, you know, you can take it one step at a time. Very fussy, and then you Tinder, yeah. And then you just. Um, but it's, I just know what I like. Yeah, but you're you're in no position to be fussy. No, I always am. I don't care. All right. What do you mean? You want a you want a hot lady? No, well, not you, don't have to be fucking a celebrity can model. Fuck, can you fuck an ugly girl? Yes. Why not? Okay, then why are you wait? Why are you waiting for a hot lady? Because no, what you're is looking, the? You're looking. What for do you mean action? by fussy? Like somebody cute. Not that don't have to be a fucking raving star no, model. But, but, you, but yeah, but if 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 you listen, you should be so backed up right now that you should be able to fuck anybody. So just fuck anybody. You got to get your confidence back. It's all about confidence. You I knew when I was true. single. Sometimes you get into a bit of a drought, and then just. It's like this. Then you fuck somebody, and you it feels good. So you're like, I want to, ha I want that to happen again. And also, you get a little confident. I know. And then, you, and then you start. It's like comedy again. You start at shit clubs, and then you work up to a better clubs. A drought. You, I fell off the fucking Titanic. I right. Mean, horrible he woman. The, into a drought. He fell off the, the band <laughs> to an ocean through. of drought. And the band played on. So anyway, you have to you have to get some confidence back. So I would say fuck anybody, and then and then go from there. Bubba, you're in a different story because. You're nervous because you never fucked anybody, and then uh, and and fucking's gonna be hard. Fair. We got a call. Call. Go ahead, caller. Two calls. Wow. Ooh, oh, oh, Ken. Goodness. He says you're. He's your friend. Kevin? Who? Ken. Oh yeah. Okay. Jesus, Jesus, Kevin. This is this is the the best show yet. Even beats the Joel Richardson show. Oh, this is God. the best yet. And oh, and, whoa, and Joel. Yes. Yeah. And and Coob just shot himself, but. Uh, <laughs> Who shot himself? Where's Coob? Coob's working. Oh. Go ahead. What do you got? That's all I got, Kevin. Best show ever. Better than Joel Richardson. Best. Wait, that's it? You got no take on our takes? Uh, th listen, I I've already tweeted a couple of my takes at you. <laughs> yeah, but you're on the phone now, so fucking give us one of your takes. Shit on us or something. Uh, right? Listen, listen. Uh, you know, hey, He's Kevin. a nice guy. He can't help. He's a nice guy. Oh, thank you. But, but are, Ken, guys, do you have any advice for Bobo? When did you lose your virginity? Uh, I was uh, I, I was fifteen. I was fifteen. And then you married her? Well, I, I, no, I didn't marry her. <laughs> no. How many women Stalker have you? Patty, how many Bobo, women you banged Bobo, before? Walker Patty. How many women you banged before you married your wife? Uh, seven. He just made that up. <laughs> like one, two, three, and then let me bump it up a couple. So, 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 what would you give him advice as far as like what, the first time you had sex? Were you nervous? Uh, was, a, a little nervous, yes, a little. Yeah, nervous. So you, it, it's not. It's it's. You don't even know what's happening. It's like being on a fucking crazy ride, and all of a sudden, it, yeah, whatever. So it's not going to go easy. Maybe you should get a hooker and then just practice with her. Doesn't want to. How about, if we, how about if Stalker we? How about, why don't you just have a, like a GoFundMe with all your Twitter things, and then get, they'll get you a really nice hooker, a hotel, maybe you get room service, have him make a nice night of it. He's gone this Mass long bath. without oh, having may, a prostitute. May, maybe uh, maybe uh, sending up maybe some money I could fly in someone I know from out of town. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, he's already got it planned out. Yeah, I, and murder them. Hey, no, because I've seen Kevin, I have the Kevin weird luck with city, the Kevin. out of towners, what? and I do New Yorkers. Okay. What's that? Ocean City, Kevin. Kevin, send them to Ocean City. I, 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 I see. The summer. I seem to grab the. I've noticed on Twitter. I seem to grab more of the attention of outer towners than I do locals. Yeah, because outer towners are playing with you because they're not gonna. They don't have to fuck you. They pretend like they're gonna fuck you, and because <laughs> they're like, I, I gotta fly in here. Yeah, fly me out of how just play too many head games. I would. I'm for real. I would, as a joke. I would send up a GoFundMe, see if you can get some pussy. No, but I think I think it's, they'll give you, maybe they'll give you money. Maybe they'll give you pussy. Maybe or, some will hear about it. They go, "I'm or, trying to get laid." Or, or I think it's it. Or I think it's this logic. It's because like New Yorkers, there's a lot of us around around here. I guess maybe someone else, some uh, novelty. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you, but you, the point Take is, a picture with Elmo in Times Square and then fuck Bobo. <laughs> and talk is a good place. No, the point is, you have, to, publici publici you have to publicize. You use Twitter to publicize your problem, and your problem is you need money to get laid, or get a hooker, or, or get a hotel, or whatever. Once the word gets out, you'll get laid. And talk it. I think the word's out. Great. Oh, the word's not out. It's okay. not out. Right. Guys, Ned, talk it. That you're a virgin. 
No, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't tweet that often. Okay, well, tweet. Tweet your virgin, and I'm sure the the fucking phones will light I mean, up. Nantucket is a great place to get some action. You're about to do a limerick, <laughs> Nantucket. Yes, it is. <laughs> The one thing you guys don't know is Bobo has had over 20 surgeries on his penis. Oh. What? No, no, no. That was not really exactly quite on the penis, but more <laughs> urinary system. It was urinary system problems. All right. When I was little, they, uh, they, there was, a, there was like a simple operation on the urinary system problem. They messed up that urinary system problem. Oh, no. So I fed... I, I had, a, I had a few two okay. When that's you were it. getting circumcised, they fucked it up. No, 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 it wasn't that. When I was little, you I had a oil. Ur- <laughs> when I was very little, I had a urinary system problem, and they, that did some operation, signed the the, the, the plumbing and in, inside. Hmm. So what's he trying to tell us that it don't work? No, it was the ur- it when I was shy. little. There was it urinary might, system problems. It might, it might be hold them back, you know. Yeah, from you know. all those surgeries. And, and it, I, it doesn't actually, look my, correct. My dick functions fine, all right. My well, show dick, us. <laughs> my dick functions fine. About to fine. wrap my it dick, up. Let's go with a bang. My dick come like it's no problem. All right, it'll piss. All right, it's just I got to worry it about hurt when you pee. I got to worry about UTI effects. That's why I drink a lot of water. I can't let the plumbing dry up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So you're, you're like a, a urinary tract infection like women get. Why don't you talk to them about that? Because you have a lot in common. It is they true. always get those those uh, urinary tract, <laughs> chronic ur- urinary tract cuties, they're called. Cranberry juice. There's a lot to talk about, Bobo. Hey, yo, Kevin, music box in April. I got you coming down for that. Okay, what, what is it now, October? No, no, music box in April. Okay, right. Are we talking code? Yeah, no, I'm I'm doing a show at the Music Box in April, and I, I I I'm arranging to have you come you know come down for that. With who? With who? Yeah, who's who's going to be on the gig with me, Bobo? No, yeah, I'd love, I'd love to have Bobo and Mike Machete. Okay, but we can't afford that. All right, thanks, Ken. We got to wrap it up. We got to do some shout outs. You didn't get any copy this week. Huh? No copy this week? Okay, I want to do a major shout out to uh I was talking to the crew before the show. Lenny, there's a Lenny Marcus at Lenny Marcus. Lenny's Lenny Lenny Marcus's thing is at Lenny Marcus NYC. There's a like a I guess they're called parody accounts. <clears throat> at Lenny Marcus NY. Instead of NYC, it's at NY. But it's fucking hilarious. His his first tweet is I fix printers. I mean, it's just fucking hilarious. Anyway, Sheer joy you had in your face when he you was tweeted. He I, he tweeted me, and Lenny has me blocked, right? Why? He, why? <laughs> anyway, so Lenny has me blocked, and this guy tweeted, and he tagged me. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I then I go to the I go to the thing. It's fucking hilarious. He's got Neil involved with it, Dave oh, Chappelle. No. It's fucking really hilarious. So a big shout out to him. Um, I want to give a shout out to Dr. Steve. Because uh, I'm he, I talked to him about my, about my high cholesterol, and he was very helpful. Just take the medicine and, and get, no, get I'm already taking well. medicine, but well, you got to do more than that. Well, so. How long have you taken it for? Huh? How long have you been taking it for? I've been taking it for years, Mike. My dick okay. don't work. So, uh, <laughs> side effects. You know, my wife is going to leave me because my dick don't work, but no, at least I won't it, have a heart attack. It can attack. be stress also. Stress could lead to heart problems, yeah. even if you're in shape. Right, living in New York could lead to be hit by a bus. So I let's figure out the solution to this week's what? problem though what? you can't physically please your wife <laughs> you bring in these two yeah, pinch hitters when you can't anybody. you can't handle you can't it can't please the sponsors okay i'm a, I'm a I'm genius <laughs> i don't even know two guys. listen i'm in montrose pennsylvania this saturday i don't somebody tweeted where are you gonna be i trying to get tickets i couldn't fucking whatever i tweeted the information on my website i mean on twitter so go to go to my tweets the link is there i'm at helium philadelphia November 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Uh, I'm trying to get Tom to feature for me. I'm not trying that hard. Can you try a little fucking harder? I can't try that hard because then they go, oh, shit, Brennan's a fucking, he's difficult to deal with. Everybody knows I'm already difficult to deal with, so I don't want to get it Guess what? Guess what? Steve Byrne was there a couple weeks ago, and he got my friend Reggie to open for him. So you're saying? Reggie Watts? Reggie Conquest. Yeah, but Reggie Conquest, is that a real name? Yeah, he's my friend. He's very funny. Is he black? Yeah, of course he's black, Kevin. Reggie Conquest, that's his real name? Yes. Reggie Conquest. It's his uh, mother's maiden name, yes. That's a cool name, though. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Black people, I mean, it's unbelievable. It never, They're it great. Never, I love them. It never ends being entertained by them. 
Listen, Reggie Conquest. Just be a man and get it done. I'm trying to right? get it done. I just emailed them today before you came in. Anyway, Mike, you got anything you want to plug? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, actually, right now, what, uh, what do you call it? Channel 99 Series, Comedy Raw Takeover. Today? Yeah. Tomorrow. Who did you Wednesday. host it with? Just you? Just me. Was but you were fun? on today, Kevin. I'm so excited. Was it fun? Yeah. You're going to do it again? I hope so. Boba, what do you got? No, uh, well, right now I got to work. The, the the holiday season is coming up, so it's gonna be like the bit. It's gonna be the biz. It's gonna get even busier at the job I do part time. What do you do part time? I load I load delivery trucks. So so it gets busy around Halloween and, and no no around Christmas time. Oh okay. Well, when it gets to around November. That's a little premature with your plug. I, I'm gonna do a premature ejaculation joke. <laughs> you guys sit here like fucking literally bumps on a log. Not true. We've no, we want. Yeah, but we don't want to listen to you. What are you talking no. about? We got to pay no, attention. You, don't even, you never going jump on. in. I'm about to go. Yeah, he's he's come. He's gonna come too quick, or Santa's gonna something about something. No, but you. We want to pay attention carefully to you. <laughs> oh my god! All right, Tom, do your plugs. Man, Reg, just... you and Reggie Conquest. Where are you gonna be? Uh, I have shows this weekend, but who gives a shit? Where, have, are, they gonna, where are you going to be? In the city or out of town? It's in the city, so it doesn't matter. No, it matters. Yeah. Everything matters. It does, Tom. Everything matters, How's man. your girlfriend? She's good. Thanks for asking. You guys are living together? No. We're not living together yet. Who are you living with? I live with two gay men in Harlem. And do you have a job? No. Are I you told paying? you I'm a full-time fucking comedian, are Kevin. You your rent? I had a writing job over the summer. That's right. It's How, fucking over now, though. On, I'm, I'm out of money. That show on the air yet? No, I think it's going to come out like March. Well, your mom gives you money, right? No, she doesn't give me any money. Or your dad? No. <laughs> who's, who's paying for your hand jobs at the dumpster? I <laughs> 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 got a video coming out next uh, tomorrow. Check it I don't out, have please. have time to plug that. Okay. Anyway, Burning Bridges, happy Columbus Day. Gino Bisconti, thanks for calling in. Ken. Uh, Tyler from Ohio, thanks for calling in. I think I know Tyler. I think he follows me on Twitter. He's a good guy. I saw. I was just trying to be a dick. That's my thing. That's my shtick. Where you I want to. You I want to hang up on the guests. Where I just want to do a show where I hang up on everybody. Because to me, that's always funny when I go, ah, oh, fucking hang up on this guy. But then I got twenty other people. Yeah, but you're not a dick, though. You're really a good guy. Yeah, I'm down deep, real deep, real deep. Mm -hmm. I dig real deep. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, that's all we got. Stay tuned for the Kumia. And uh, an Artie show. I think it's called Artie and Anthony, but on the Compound Media Network.